Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to gain stage audio properly. I've seen a few different YouTube videos covering this topic, but none of them kind of really made sense to me. So I thought I would make my own video explaining it in a way that's easier to understand. I've been making music for the better part of 12 years and I just recently learned about gain staging in the last eight months. So uh, I'm pretty new to it as well. Okay, so I have a blank project open in Logic and I'm going to go to an Apple loop. Uh, let's use uh, Vision and Verse and I'm just going to find a piano. Okay, so that's the piano loop that we're going to use. We have our regular fader, which is right here. We can turn it up and we can turn it down. What I used to do was turn down the fader. When you're gain staging, this gives you a false representation on what your volume levels are actually at. So I'm going to show you a little trick to give you a better representation of what your audio levels are actually at before the fader. So we're going to right click up here and click customize control bar and display. And then we want to select pre-fader metering. Make sure that that's selected. So normally we would just turn it down like this. And we think, oh, that's good. It's fine now. But it's actually not because if you turn the pre-fader on, this is before it goes through all the plugins and the sampler and all that. You'll notice that our volume is a lot hotter than we think. So how do we correct that? One way that's really easy to do if it's a MIDI instrument is go to your uh, instrument, click on it, and just turn the volume down. Always make sure that your post fader is at zero. Always make sure it's at zero because then it gives you a false representation of what the audio levels are if it's not at zero. That's how you gain stage of VST. Next, I will be showing you how to gain stage audio. So let's find a beat to go with the piano. Okay, let's use this beat. We're gonna put it in. If we turn it up to zero, very close to clipping and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is go to your inserts and select utility, gain, click on that, then turn on pre-fader metering. We want that to be quieter. So we're going to pull this down until we get to the level that we want. Remember, always aim for negative 12 or lower. So now we're gonna take the value right here and we're going to take negative 8.2 decibels off. So we go negative 8.2. Make sure you hit negative because you'll get really loud music <laughs> if you don't. Okay, so now we can turn this back up to zero because we put a uh, gain stage on it. Bring it back to zero. Now when we hit play, there we go. It's not clipping. Turn on your pre-fader metering. And you can see we have a healthy volume level now.
for watching my video and if you learned something uh, that's great if you have any comments or questions please let me know in the comment section below and if there's any other topics that you would like me to cover also let me know in the comment section below I enjoy doing these videos if you like my tutorials you should also check out my music on my channel 